Well, honey, did you tell Bobby and Jake to come up? Yeah, they said they'd, they said they'd be here. Good, good. I guess it's only fair to tell them right away. Well, yeah, I think so. I think we're doing the right thing. Don't you think we are? This is our home. I hate to leave it. <sighs> Sweetheart, we're moving to Duke's penthouse. It's only two blocks away. I know. I know that. Well, well what's the matter? Hmm? You afraid that Bobby and Jake are going to be hurt? Is well, yeah, it? they're our family. Well, I'm sure they're going to understand. Come on in. Good Hi. Morning. Hi. Good morning. Happy holidays. Well, what is this? This is a wreath for your door. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Thank you. Is it like a lifesaver? <laughs> I don't know. Is that coffee I smell? Yeah, yeah. Well, come on in. Have oh, a seat. Oh, would you like some tea instead? Oh, I'd love some tea before the hospital. Okay. Thank you for the tea. I'm due at the hospital. Ah, uh, me too. Uh, I got Bobby, can you wait for just a few more minutes? Yeah, would you mind? Uh, I got something I want to talk to you about. Yeah, I knew something was up. You two are acting so jumpy lately. Something wrong? Oh, yeah. well, Bobby... We, we're going to move out, just temporarily First anyway. That's not the way move I Move out? What did you want me to say? It's not because we don't love living at the Brownstone. We love it here. It's just that Duke has sort of made us a better offer. Duke? Yeah. Bobby, Duke wants us to stay at the penthouse. And since he might have to go to prison, he thinks that we should watch over his apartment. So he gave us the keys to the penthouse. Yeah. So you're going to be living in the penthouse at Duke's club? Yeah, but it's just temporary. Right. I mean, it's just for a favor. Right, now I'm doing two jobs, right, with the, the police force and also here, so it's more convenient. I think it's great. I think it's absolutely fabulous. Well, you're not upset? I told you they wouldn't be upset. Well, no. Of course not. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, when are you moving in? Well, we don't want to give up our apartment, if that's possible, in case Duke doesn't have to go to jail. Well, you just get moved in as soon as you can. Have us over to dinner. I promise you'll be our first dinner guest. Guest? What are you talking about? We're going to be working at the club together anyway, right? Right. So we'll see each other every day. We'll be sick we'll of be each sick other. We'll be sick of yes, each other. Yes, but you'll still be our first dinner guest. <laughs> Excuse me. Frisco Jones. It's Anna. I want you at General Hospital right away. What is it? Is it Duke? No. It's Ted Holmes. He's been murdered. Frisco, when you called. Ted Holmes is dead? What happened? Frisco said he was murdered. Yes, I'm sorry to say. How did it happen? According to the autopsy, it was suffocation, evidently. Uh, would you excuse us, please? I want to speak to you, Frisco. When did it happen? Sometime last night. One of you found him this morning. Anybody see anything? Anybody know anything? I haven't had a chance to talk to anyone yet. But it's not my job. It's your job. This is your first case as a detective. I'm assigning you to it. Hmm? Yes. Now, I suggest that you talk to every member of the staff. I'm going to call headquarters and get forensics onto this case. And I want you to tell Steve that we're sealing up Ted's room. Go to it. Right. <clears throat> Risco, what did you find out? Does Anna have any idea who did this? We haven't told anyone the cause of death. Well, they'll know soon enough. Uh, Dr. Hardy, we need to seal Ted's room off. Frank Six will be coming by pretty soon. Forensic. Amy, Ted was murdered. Uh, I've been assigned to the case. Dr. Hardy, could I use your office, if I may? Certainly. I'll help in any way I can. Thank you. For starters, I'm going to want to question all the doctors and nurses on staff last night and early this morning. Wait a minute. Are the doctors on staff suspects? Oh, Bobby. Mm. Until we know who's responsible, everybody's a suspect. So I heard you've already been assigned to Ted's case. Yes, that's right. I guess I should congratulate you. I wish you didn't have to be with Ted Holmes. Well, you... Terry knew him longer than anyone else. Does Terry know he's dead? Yeah, I called her a little while ago back in Laurelton. She's, of course, very upset. Really? I didn't know Terry was that close to Ted. He really wasn't a bad guy, Frisco. In fact, we both really liked him. Does she know he was murdered? I didn't even know at the time when I called. He was tough enough to learn he was dead. Listen, I admitted him yesterday, Frisco, and he was fine as of last night. Why did you admit him? Well, he had a series of episodes of cardiac irregularities. We brought him in for routine tests. Hmm. Well, 
Must have been a shock to come in this morning and find out that he was dead. Yeah, it was rough. I blame myself. Listen, Frisco, Terry wants to know if we can bring the body home for the funeral. Well, forensics is investigating the body right now. I'll see what I can do about having it released as soon as they're finished, all right? Thanks. Patrick, do you know of anybody who would want Ted Holmes dead? No. I didn't think he had any enemies other than Lucy Cohen. Yeah, I was aware that her and Ted were having some sort of argument about her book. Do you think she would have gone far enough to kill her? Oh, that I don't know. All I do know is she's probably responsible for his heart problems. What do you mean by that? Frisco, Ted found out that Lucy had some kind of a side deal working with the publisher on her book, so she didn't have to turn in all her royalties to the Jennifer Talbot wing at the hospital. So, when Ted found out he was furious, he sued her and cut off her assets. Well, that probably didn't make Lucy very happy, did it? Oh, she was livid. They got into a couple of screaming matches, and uh, he wound up in the hospital. Did he have a bad heart? Frisco, we ran a series of tests on him, and everything came up negative. Now, he was under a great deal of stress, and I, which I lay right at the feet of Lucy Coe. Especially after yesterday. Why yesterday? Because he gave her a deadline. She was to return the money owed to the Foundation by yesterday. Now, as far as I know, she hasn't turned over any money yet. And Ted is dead. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No. Well, I appreciate you for the help. And as soon as I find out about the body, I'll let you know, OK? Right. Thanks again.